thought you guys would get a kick out of this. This is my first modified Ender 2. I have begun putting these together. Time has been a little tight, but um, the first person I'm sending one to wanted it heavily customized. So it has my custom shroud, the 30 millimeter quiet fan, and the parts cooler, which is plumbed through the nylon mesh into the brain box and works like any other parts cooler fan does, so you can control it by G-code. This new hot end shroud allows you to get full access to the hot end, so you can see everything the printer is doing. Nothing hides from you. you can, it's not blocked like on the regular Creality printers. It also has an A2 hardened steel nozzle and Capricorn tube. I have Bowden clips to keep the Bowden tubes from coming out. Um, PEI print bed. The replacement springs so that the bed doesn't drift, it stays put. Everything's tightened up and ship shape. Not a single wiggle anywhere in the printer. It is solid. And it will be shipped out soon. I thought you guys would like to see that. I will have these kits available soon. I, this is a, my own design. Um, because of the 30 millimeter fan and the tightness around the um, cold end, you no longer get the blow by that normally cools the part. As you can see, it's all nice and neat in there. So now your cooling is no longer chilling your hot end. And that allows me to use a much smaller, much quieter fan that doesn't block the view underneath the printer, which is highly desired. I will be trying this out on my CR10s, which use the identical hot end, so I have no reason to believe it would not work just as well on them, since they literally use the very same hot end. And this is the Creality parts cooling fan. It's that standard pancake fan, which are already pretty quiet. Uh, this is my custom made um, air deflector. I had to shorten it a little bit and add wedges this way. This doesn't scrape along the bed or your print, and if it hits it from the side, it'll push under instead of snagging your print, tearing it up. And it looks good too. And it came out pretty cool. I am pleased. I'm very happy with the result. So. Here's an example of the prints I'm getting from it now. Nothing is tuned. These are just standard files. And that is the Marvin. And that is the Benji. As is typical with Ender 2, no noise. It is noise free. Which is why I love this printer so much. You see, no ringing, no nothing. Boy, I love this printer. This is Toner Plastics Ocean Blue, I believe, or Electric Blue. This might be the Electric Blue, I think. Come on, focus. Thank you. That's it. Now I'm going to print the rocket, make sure vase mode looks good, and figure out how to pack this thing up.